So Wale Olusi, who is an investment analyst with Afri Invest, joins me now to take a look at the markets, of course, as we count down to the Christmas holidays. Sunday is Christmas, and on Monday, the markets will be closed for the holiday. And, of course, before you know it, it's the end of December. Wale, good morning. Thank you for joining me on the program. So, Wale, talk to us about how the market has been. It's uh, just... Today is just the third day in a new week, and of course we're counting down to the end of December. How have the markets acted in the last couple of days, Monday, Tuesday, and uh, of course today? How, what are you expecting? Well, um, market has been there uh, this week uh, across the market. Uh, but starting with equity, equity some uh, some profit taken after the rally. So last week, market was for of asking, and uh, we saw some key and particular stocks that went on. Some big market, um, but then yesterday, um, I think investors took profit after this rally last week. Um, despite the allocation that came in yesterday, performance in the morning was also very good. Investors are also paying the position ahead of TBN is also in four months today, and TBN has been you know, marking up the community aggressively. I think portfolio managers are also looking at you know, their position as the year is running uh, a, a close. So I think all of these activities are slowing down. Maybe likely what we think will have accounted for what we've seen. I mean, by end of the week, it will be Christmas, and uh, mm -hmm. that's a lot of strength for. for for most people, so it's not surprising. And I think for our expectation, the only rally that I saw close to the end of the week means from every, I don't mean end of the week, then end of the year, something last next week, uh, when uh, portfolio investors start thinking what they can do as a more of exercise because the year is done like that. I think I'm also that content, PT bank, Nigeria goes into the big driver. Okay. Uh, are always the you know, big movers when the year is going to take. I think the experience from the Zephyr last year has shown that uh, rally towards the end of the year, in the last week of the year, has been consistent. So uh, it won't be surprised if something like that happens next, next week again. Well, you're not expecting any rally in the fixed income segment. That's for the bonds and uh, the F F and treasury bills as well. No, we are not overly optimistic about activity when we move to the bond market for the year. And I think market performance will be large and investors will just look at what they can do. And if there are any, they will mostly be on short term. But then, talk to us a little bit about the FX market. Today, uh, the sixth over-the-counter FX futures will be settled by the Central Bank of Nigeria. This, of course, should be a welcome news for those who actually look forward to these kind of settlements. Yeah, it will be settled like uh, every other one that is settled since we started this in June. And it will be replaced with uh, another 12 month instrument for uh, December 2017. And I think... Um, that's what we do. I think they, 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 they will happy about that. But I think the big thing about the FX market is the recent uh, weakness that we saw. Uh, the parallel market that has been down to four nights uh, as of yesterday. I think some pressure coming in from the stronger dollar after the Fed and high interest rate uh, in the US last week and guided that they will be in about three more next year. Uh, also, the you know, Strengthening the oil prices that has also brought about, you know, higher landing costs for oil. Mm -hmm. I think demand for FX coming from the domestic space has also increased. Plus the Christmas activity of oil. So I think some pressure on oil market is coming in from there. It's responsible for the recent rally. But until this week, we see some very stability cross segment in the market. Last two weeks, because 
Well, Wale, it's a good thing that you mentioned that we're coming into Christmas. And at this time, a lot of people are expecting that uh, the Naira to the dollar at the black market should kind of ease off a little bit. Right now, we have it at 490, particularly because we have Nigerians coming back home for the holidays. So they're expecting that they will come back home with some dollars to spend. Maybe not enough to spare, but at least to spend because, you know, family and the rest of it. For you, where are you expecting to see the Nara? Do you expect it to move from the present 490 to a dollar? Well, that's uh, an, an interesting question to ask. But I think um, if you look at the number of Nigerians coming to the hard currency in the country for the Christmas festivities versus those that want to go out and the pressure coming in from the impact of the higher rates in the U.S. Um, ultimately, what they account for, whether it's to go up or down, is the net effect of this trade. Um, I think most of the people coming into Nigeria, I don't think anybody really wants to really spend dollar like that. There's a lot of dollar hoarding going on in the system. And if the outlook continues to look like it's going to cost 500, I don't think people they want to do away with their dollar. So um, I think ultimately, if it boils down to the output on the Naira, where we have the you know pressure coming from the global market and the lingering crisis in the domestic market yet and resolved. So if people think they will likely earn more holding on for a while, even when they bring it into, they might still want to hold on or it will spend less as they will have spent normally. So ultimately, it doesn't look so rosy. Yeah, inflows of dollar might ease pressure a bit, but um, um, the impact of what is happening in the global market might next that might offset that pressure. That's our fear. All right, Wally. Thank you so much for joining me on the program this morning and of course sharing your perspectives with us.